Good evening and God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It is 6-10, the 27th of September. It's going by quickly, you guys. Alright. Just want to read a little bit here, you guys. and I hope and pray everybody here receives a message. There's a lot going on here right now, you guys, where... People are holding on to the world, and they, I don't think they even know it. Um, they're not coming out from among it, and uh, I really don't think they even know it, or what the word means. Um, I let it go a long time ago. It was made very clear to me what this was, what was happening, and... Uh, no illusions about it whatsoever. Anyhow, I pray for each and every person out there, man, that they can uh, let these things go and really, truly trust in the Lord and uh, not, not in uh, the world. That's where their real trust is. They don't understand this. You know, when, you know, Jesus says, uh, God knows what our needs are. And if we truly trust in him, he'll make a way. He'll guide your paths and make a way. You guys, Satan is the prince of this world. Our uh, education system has been teaching our children to go in his ways, not the ways of God. God's ways and our ways are not the same. He opened our eyes, enlightened us to see and know the truth. And yet, people are not seeing this. This is why I see the churches are still blinded. And a lot of people, they can't receive the words when we say them. Um, they're holding on. They're not letting go. Okay, Romans six twenty one. What fruit had you in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. You guys, you know in our colleges today that they're teaching um, uh, Darwin. It's, Darwin is, uh, it's antichrist. It's, it's against God. It's against everything. It leads people away from uh, psychiatry and all that stuff. These are people that are, they're not seeing the spiritual things that are going on in this world. Uh, they're teaching the ways of the world and they can't let it, let it go. Okay, Acts 5.29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and they said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Matthew 15, 9, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Yeah, when he took the scale off of our eyes to see what we know, what we know now, and yet uh, people are still holding on to their worldliness. Remember when uh, Jesus went by the shore and he called some of the, his apostles? that were working with their nets and stuff, they straightway left it. They left their worldly jobs and they seeked after Christ. They followed him. And, you know, when you said, when somebody says they, when somebody says that they, uh, they're no longer of the world, but they're of the world, that's, that's, still doing the agenda of the world, man. You know, still doing what the world... Satan's got to have people... Can you imagine, man, if people, when they had the scales taken off their eyes, if everybody would have stood up, spoke up, and came up out of what they're in, but they didn't? You know, instead, they still go to their jobs. They keep the beast marching on. They keep it going on. I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't making the mask. 
that people are now being muzzled by, if they weren't helping to make the signs that are telling people to keep six feet apart. Six feet apart, man. Can you imagine that? People standing six, 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 six. Their, the number is hidden in everything. Six. And Disney, Walt Disney and all these things. Six, 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 six. And now they're telling everybody to stand six feet apart. Six, 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 six. It's just ongoing. It's unbelievable. And yet they people saying, I am no longer of the world. But they're doing, you know, they're still keeping the system going, the beast going. Well, I guess everything's going to work out as it's supposed to. When I called, none heard me. They still continued. You know, I had to come out from on, underneath of it. I was given a choice. You know, Mark, if you speak less, we'll turn your life around. If you speak less of Jesus Christ. They didn't say stop. They just said if I spoke less, they'd turn my life around. And I said, that'll never happen. Well, my phone stopped ringing. And I had that same phone number for 14 years. Stopped ringing. I lived in my shop for two years. I refused to comply with what the beast system was doing. And then I went out warning people, and I still have people today telling me things that do not make sense. If I told you, let's agree to disagree, what does that sound like to you? Agree to disagree. Does that sound um, like it makes sense at all? It doesn't to me. This is why we're in the position we're in today. Because people just compromised. You know? They just compromised for it. Instead of standing on a rock. You know? Do I agree to disagree? Not at all. I stand firm on what I know. Matthews 15, 9. But in vain they do worship me. Teaching of doctrines, the commandments of men... Romans 1, 25. I'm going to tell you something. The schools are the worst thing we've got going in this country. Because, see, they do all the teaching. They teach you young when they're little in all their ways. They're teaching people the love of this flag, everything. By the time the military gets them, they drill it into them. Romans 1, 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. And worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Psalms 18.30 As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. See, you tell me you trust in him. But yet, everything I see you doing tells me you trust more in man and the world. Because to see, to trust in Christ, to really trust in him, you'd walk away from everything here. You'd walk away from it right now. And when I say walk away, I'm talking about letting go of this beast system. Continuing this education system. What is this education system? Is it God's ways or is it man's ways? Everybody's helping the beast do its thing. Pretty soon, you're going to have to roll up your sleeves. And then you have to make that decision whether you're going to continue. But meanwhile, you help that beast up to this point, what's coming upon everybody right now. Everybody. Romans 8.31 What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? You guys, there's spirits that are biting in people right now. And they're being driven to do the things that they do right now, and they don't even know it. They're literally um, being driven, and they don't even know it. 
Psalms 34.22 The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. None of them that trust in him shall be desolate. People are going to soon find out that they didn't really trust in him because they're still holding on to the things of this world. And this means even their jobs. You better see what your job does. Does it, does it do the things that are pleasing to the Lord or does it do the things that are of the world? Just a moment. All right, you guys, I'm back. I was just talking with Cynthia. These things we're hearing today, you guys, everything's upside down, you know? Do not compromise, okay? We know what time it is. The Holy Spirit that that's working in us we know, we see what's going on. And uh, we know the truth. The truth is in us. You know, and some of these things people do. You know, you guys, letting go. Remember when Jesus called his, his apostles and they were fishermen? He called them. They straight forth left their jobs. They left their jobs. When he says, come out of her, my people, lest you suffer their plagues, a lot of people are in a lot of trouble. Those who trust in the Lord, I mean really trust in Him, they're going to let these jobs and all these things of the world go, especially those that really believe and know the time that we're in right now. If they're not doing that, they're not fully trusting in the Lord. You can't say that you are and you're doing that. We just had a big little talk about that. You know, it's... uh Wow. You guys, we're going to see and see things that are clearly insane that do not make sense. You know? If people would have really trusted in the Lord, they would have walked away from this. And they're not. People are saying that they do, but you'll know them by their fruit. You'll know them by what they do. Okay? Just know what time it is, you guys. Don't be... Wow. It's amazing. Alright. It's amazing. James 4.4 4, You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is an amenity with God? Whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Why do you think it says many were called and few were chosen? Let me tell you, to let go of the world means to come out from among them. And that's not what people are doing. People are very much, they're afraid to let go. Because they don't fully trust in the Lord. If they did, they would. You would know them if they did. All right. 1 John 3, 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. I want to tell you guys, I've had several dreams about how many people really escaped from this. i only seen five. That's it. When we were up there in the kingdom to get our feet washed, just five people. The benches where people could sit and put their feet in the basins, they went on as far as the eye could see. Row after row after row after row, they were empty. Nobody was in it. So you guys, when you see the insanity picking up now more than ever, um, know it for what it is. If, if something doesn't seem right to you, because people that are of the world holding on to the world, you better listen to it. You better listen to it. The, that's, why do you think it says it's going to be like the days of Noah? Not too many people got in that ark, did they? There's only eight. So when things seem a little uncertain with certain people, man, you got to stay away from them. Okay? Stay away from them. Let them be. You know? Not everything's what you think it is. John 8, 44, 45. You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. He abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. 
When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. This is like, wow. When I'm hearing some of the things I hear that people say, I'm going to tell you something. I do not agree to disagree. I stand on the truth. It is exactly what I see. It's exactly that. Those that truly trust in the Lord, they'll forsake everything. They'll leave everything. And they'll truly trust in Him. Remember when He said He couldn't do nothing for anybody? Why? Because they didn't have no real faith. Most people, they don't want to leave their jobs. They want to hold on to this, this world. They're going to hold on to it to the last minute. Guess what? As This is where people are being further tried. Where their real faith is, they didn't let go. They didn't part ways with that to follow Christ. Their real trust was in mammon, in the world, not in God, not in Christ. Even though he's revealing everything to us. Matthew seven twenty four twenty seven, Whoever hears these saying of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. When the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Everyone that hears these saying of mine and does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And when the rains descended and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Wow. All right, you guys. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. Okay? Follow the Lord. Okay? Many were called. Remember the disciples? They dropped their nets. And they straight forth went after him. I like that. Straight forth went after him. Okay. Now he had a whole lot of other uh, apostles and disciples or whatever. A whole bunch of them. But they ended up walking away from him. A whole bunch. And only the, those that he chose stayed with him. But he said one of them was a devil. Okay. So... You guys, all these sayings are for a reason. We have to watch out who's among us all the time. Because the devil's always trying to slide in. Remember there was one standing in the, in the kingdom and he, and he said, Friend, how did you get in here? And the guy was speechless. And he told him, find him, cast him out. You know? You guys, don't think for a moment there ain't going to be one trying to come in among us. God bless you guys. I love you all in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Repent. Turn away from this world. Repent of it. Repent of your sins. Believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who took your sins, all our sins, to the cross. Okay? And stop the sinning. You can stop it through him who abides in us. He overcame the world. Those who are truly dead to this world and they abide in him, the, this world no longer has a hold on you. But you can't be you know, still helping the beast going on and say that you trust him when really the truth is you don't want to let go of the things that you have here in this world. That's what it comes down to. A lot of people want, don't want to let this go. And that's because of the love of the world. And the things that are in it, you know. Jesus didn't have anything. He walked away from it all, you know. Most people don't want to let it go and trust in him. He will provide for you. There's going to be places like this that are set up for people that really want to walk away from it all. God bless you guys. I love you. Pretty soon people are going to be doing that because they're going to have no choice. They're not going to have any choice. This is going to be coming on people suddenly. Many people are going to be getting sick, dying. Um, it's going to be horrible what's coming. My faith is in the Lord. I ain't worried about wearing no mask. I'm not even worried about death. God bless you guys in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.